So, my question is, black people, are we the real Jews? Are we the real Hebrews? Because there are certain videos that I'm, go I'm about to share with you. Three white people or white folks who are saying black people are the real Jews. I know that this has been going around a lot. People have been saying a lot about black people being the real Jews. Like we are, when we talk about the Israelites, they are black people. But I, it's a question that I'm asking. Are we the real Jews? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and do what? Share. Let's watch these videos. Sunday. A good day to correct some false teaching and lies that you've been told while sitting in church or even watching movies, um, reading books. Moses, chosen by God, given the Ten Commandments. Most of the laws are based on that today. Even your constitution in America is, some of it is based on the Ten Commandments. Moses, born in Africa, raised by Africans. Moses was a Hebrew, an Israelite, and a black man. All Hebrews were black. He married a woman from Ethiopia, and his sister Miriam didn't like this. She didn't like it because Ethiopians had a different culture to them. So she was talking bad about Moses marrying out of his race. So God was listening to this. And God said, Miriam, Aaron, who the one she was gossiping to, and Moses, please come to the temple steps. I have some things I want to speak to you about. So they were on the temple steps and he said, Miriam, you have been talking about your brother Moses, slandering that he's marrying outside of his culture. That is a sin. He said, so for your punishment, I'm going to strike you with leprosy and whiteness. So she was struck to become a white leper. Now, you can read all this for yourself. The whole story is in Numbers 12, starting at verse 1. So then Moses saw this and he he said, please, God, you know, she's my sister. She probably didn't mean to talk about me like this. Please, I beg you, restore her back. I don't want my sister to be a leper. So God, he loved Moses. So he said, Moses, if she was talking bad and your father found out and spat in her face for seven days, she would be ashamed and have to stand outside the house. So for seven days then, she will become a white leper. Then after seven days, I will restore her. But do not forget this lesson. So this you can read for yourself. So next to racism, which is a very dark thing in people's hearts, is jealousy and envy. And be very careful because what the, the Bible says about envy is, and you can read it, Proverbs 14.30. It rots your bones. Hi. What did you say to me? You said you read Deuteronomy 28 and you said what? I read the whole Bible. I started when I was five because my mama was either going to make me sit there and listen to her read it for an hour a day, talk to her and let me read it for myself. Mm -hmm. took a while. I was a kid, you know, King James Version. I, I prayed, prayed for understanding. Maybe because I was a child and I really meant it, I was able to get it. Because I started reading, that everything I was reading was not lined up with what they teach you on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I kept reading, it kept being different. And I was a kid, so I thought maybe I was reading something wrong or I didn't have some understanding. It took me a while for me to realize it wasn't about me being right or wrong. It's the Word is right. Mm -hmm. And what the Word says is completely different from what they're going to teach you. I'm not going to teach you what's in that book. Got to read it. I was five, started, by the time I was eight, I made it to Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. At the end of Deuteronomy 28, I remember it clearly. I read it, I looked up, and I said, wow, really, wow, this is awesome. I was like, I know the only people that fit what's in this book of who it says that the true house of Israel is, the lost tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. They're lost, you know, they say they're scattered. We don't know who they are. I know who they are. It's who clear, are it's you guys.
It's what do you mean by you guys? The folks that were sent through the transatlantic slave trade. Mm -hmm. The folks that are still in the lands of their captivity. Israel is in the lands of their captivity. There is no creation of the so-called Jewish state of Israel in 1948. That does not fit prophecy. Mm -hmm. There's people over there that call themselves Jews. They call their own selves Ashkenazi. If you go look at Genesis chapter 10, 1 through 5, it tells you Ashkenaz is descended from Japheth. Noah's son Japheth, not Shem. That means he's a Gentile. I'm a Gentile. You know, we're Gentiles. And I mean, like, I wasn't brainwashed. I got the Bible before they do the brainwashing of the program and, and try to make you think Egypt is white, which is ridiculous because it's Africa. So, you know, all that's Africa. <laughs> so, you know, I'm thinking clearly because mm. I'm reading it. I know what's going on, you know. And, like, I was a weird kid. I thought a lot. Mm -hmm. I thought about things. And, you know, my, my mom, she was really cool because... She never taught me no kind of hate. She taught me to respect. So, so what you say about the one-third? Okay. That Bible that's told me the truth about the fake Jews, mm -hmm. the Revelation 2 died, Revelation 3 died, you know they run everything. i got to throw this in there. They run everything. The media, mm -hmm. the entertainment industry, the banking, the world pretty much. All mm -hmm. the wars we fight is because they tell us to go kick ass. That's what America is. We are the Satan, Satan's military arm. For and why I say Satan... Revelation 2 died, Revelation 3 died. I know those who say they are Jews, but do lie and mm -hmm. are of the synagogue of Satan. Mm -hmm. We done read they Ashkenazi, they Japheth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's clear. So what you say that about the one-third ruling the earth? Okay, well, here's how I know that that's true. One-third, because that's true, so the rest of it's true. Your, you guys' story's in there, mm -hmm. and it's all true. lines up perfectly. It's all there that makes any kind of sense. One-third of all nations will be left at the very, very end. You said and of one Israel, third, right? uh -huh, One third of Israel. You guys are going to be on top. So as a Gentile, I'm here to profess. Black people, you are Israelites. You are the chosen ones. You are a prestigious people. Your history is in the Bible. In order to better understand why you are Israelites, I'm going to bring forward two witnesses from Deuteronomy 28. And if you're not familiar with it, Deuteronomy 28 outlines the curses of the Israelites for not hearkening to the voice of the Lord. Now I'll bring forth my first witness from Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, because you didn't keep your end of the covenant, follow the law, statutes, and commandments, you've been cursed. Let's take a look at one of those curses and see if it applies. Deuteronomy 28, 66 reads, And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. Now, I don't know about you, I live in America, black people have no assurance of their life, and it's because you're Israelite. So if we are the real Jews and we are the real Israelites, then I think um, when you read Deuteronomy, we shouldn't worry. Like, we shouldn't worry because this thing is going to come back to us. People ruling over us and we... Um, getting so devastated with everything that they are doing to us and we are frustrated and all that it is going to turn around in our favor so I will say we should wait because if you believe in the Bible the Bible has actually said this the Bible has actually done what said this so as a black person you should wait and I'm sure that time is nearer and that time is very soon. Thank you so much for watching this video.